Searching for a juicy, crispy, and very easy way to make your chicken? It's simply in an air fryer. The chicken comes out sumptuous, crispy, flavor-filled, super healthy and very easy to make. Why use an air fryer? An air fryer cooks food by distributing hot air in a circular motion round the food, making use of the convection mechanism. The hot air is circulated all over the food at very high speed. It absorbs liquid from the outer layer of the dish and sucks it back in. This will create a crispy layer with deliciously, well-seasoned interior. Although the meat appears very crispy like it was deep-fried in hot oil, air fryer requires very little or no oil at all to cook food. This makes it healthier, having skipped all the additional calories. Air fryer is compact unlike some bulky appliances. It takes up very little countertop space and yet offers so much. It makes more even and faster cooked meals. In addition to saving time and making healthy meals, the fryer is one kitchen appliance that one can acquire without breaking the bank. It is a lot easy to clean. This is because air fryers are modeled with non-stick materials, so it does not make food greasy or so sticky. When there is no grease, there's little or no mess at all. Air fryer is super necessary for people intending to embark on the keto lifestyle or a weight loss program. Making crispy air fryer chicken. To get a crispy chicken skin, take some time to pat dry it. You can do this by using a kitchen paper towel to suck up some juice from the skin. This will help your air fryer give you a crispier outcome. While cooking the chicken in an air fryer, turn it over often during the cooking time. You can start cooking the chicken skin side placed down and turned over to cook completely. While tying out a simple chicken recipe, you should first salt the chicken skin before you proceed with other spices and ingredients. If you intend to have air fryer chicken with a sauce dressing afterwards, remember to keep it very simple with the spices. Try a little salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, curry powder, and a little bit of brown sugar to give it a glossy look. You can also use any spice that you prefer. When choosing a sauce dressing to go with your chicken, consider going for the gooey, shiny and sticky ones. This is because these types of sauce dressing contain sugars. They easily melt and crystallize when smeared on the chicken. Afterwards, the chicken can be placed back into the fryer to broil a little bit more. What duration is most appropriate for cooking air fryer chicken? First, it is worthy of note that the duration of cooking air fryer chicken is solely dependent on a number of factors. They include the thickness of the meat, the cut sizes and whether the chicken has skinless parts, or its skin is on. Professional chefs advise to specific timing. Here are some generally advised duration for cooking chicken in an air fryer. Air fryer chicken breasts are best cooked for at least 25 to 30 minutes at 165 to 180 degrees as the thickness may be. Air fryer chicken wings should cook for a minimum of 25 to 30 minutes, over a temperature of about 400 degrees, flipping every 5 to 7 minutes. Air fryer chicken thighs should be cooked for 28 to 30 minutes till it gets to a temperature of 180 to 190 degrees. Cooking chicken thighs to very high temperature enables the meat to cook really tender and the meat fiber, properly broken down. Air fryer chicken tenders, as the thickness may be, should be cooked for 15 to 18 minutes at a temperature of 165 to 170 degrees. Here's a simple air fryer chicken recipe. Air fryer delicious fried chicken. Ingredients. Buttermilk or yogurt, hot sauce, flour. Seasoning, salt, onion and garlic powder. Cayenne pepper or black pepper. Method. In a clean bowl, marinate the chicken in half of the buttermilk or yogurt in half of hot sauce. If the buttermilk is out of reach, replace with plain yogurt. Put the chicken marinade into the refrigerator for about an hour or preferably 24 hours. This is best because it allows the chicken enough time to suck up the marinade and stay juicy on the inside. Mix the flour together with the seasoning, pepper, onion and garlic powder, some salt and any other favorite spice of your choice. Be sure to mix them properly, free of lumps. Using a clean thong, take the chicken out of the marinade one after the other. Let it drain a little bit, place into the flour, mix and coat it properly. To prevent the coated chicken from sticking to the bottom part of your air fryer, you can place a perforated parchment paper at the bottom part of your air fryer. Be sure to arrange the chicken parts in a way that none is touching the other. Close your air fryer, set the timer at 25 minutes and at a temperature of 390 degrees. Open your air fryer after 13 to 15 minutes. 
The chicken should still have some patches of dry flour on it. You can spray or sprinkle some oil on these spots and turn over the chicken parts with the tongs. After that, shut your air fryer. Allow to keep cooking. Be sure to cook the chicken at exactly 165 degrees. When it is cooked, you can go ahead and enjoy your chicken. What can go with air fryer chicken? Air fryer chicken can be served alongside a lot of other delicious air fryer options. This can be steak fries, french fries, kale salads, wedge salads, sauce dressings, slim noodles, etc. Did you try our air fryer recipe? Don't forget to share your experience with us in the comment section. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimfryers.com for more awesome fryer content like this.